last name for a town. And here you can see why. I think you're really going to enjoy coming along with us today because these are just things that we find along the way and usually that's the best things. And even if we had read about this place and what we were going to see, it probably wouldn't have sounded that interesting. But when we got there and started exploring, it was that interesting. So let's get to it. Special chili cheeseburger with sweet potato fries. How much would you pay out here for a chili cheeseburger with sweet potato fries? Well, I know what I'd want to pay. You know, $5. No. $16. Well, that's not in the good budget today. $16. Gas. Add your drink and you're at 19. Add a tip, you at 22 bucks for a burger and fries. But gas is 2.99. <laughs> That's right. 10 cents a gallon cheaper. So. Holy moly! Look at these rocks. Look like they're the road. If we could buy 180 gallons of gas, ooh, oh, yeah. we could pay for your burger. Ah, I can't get off there. There's a, there's a road down here. Oh, well, okay, I'll try the road. I'll start you off with a little bit of a panoramic view before we get to the really good stuff. But the scenery here was really nice, but what this cliff dweller's place was is even more interesting, which you'll see in a moment. Now, this was a beautiful, calm, warm day. And out of nowhere, this happened. And I'm leaving this wind noise in here for this little clip, just so you can get an idea of what it was like. Because this came out of nowhere. There was a high rumble. There was a low shrill underneath, and this just happened for a couple of minutes. That was fun! And then it was gone, like it never happened, and things went back to the way they were. the rock it's really interesting to think that people lived in these little houses huts made out of stone out here because even though it can be really hot it's just so much cooler when you walk inside and they were made with the windows and doors and such to where they would catch catch air and be able to stay cool and they had their little cooking places inside it's just just really fascinating Lee's Ferry National something Recreational area. Okay. And we are going to camp in here tonight. Maybe. And a killer hiking trail for tomorrow that I'm looking forward to. When she goes, oh! <gasps> I know to pull over. Look at the rocks! Now there's places with rocks like this and as this stuff continues to erode over time some of these have actually fallen so it's great when you can find these and actually see something this heavy still being held up. Okay we didn't get to camp in Lee's Ferry because once we got in there it was pretty much full everybody was stacked on top of everybody else it just wasn't where I wanted to be 
turned out to be a blessing in disguise because in a future video you're going to see an awesome place that we ended up camping instead. But to get back to what we're doing today, we came back out of this place and was just looking around and there was supposed to be a really high bridge and remember we're up into those 7,000 foot elevations. Now with me sometimes I don't do heights and I don't do bridges well and I never know which one's going to set it off. Sometimes I can walk out to the edge of something and look down and I'm fine. Sometimes I can go across a high bridge and I'm fine. It's kind of a crapshoot of when this is going to happen and set off a little panic attack. So I knew from reading a sign that there was supposed to be a really high bridge in this area. So while we were out exploring, we kind of found it. This is this is the toy with people like me who it think is. they who yeah. think they've crossed it. And then there's going to be some look. then there's going to be some monster bridge Don't. on up the road. This can't be that bad. Jesus Christ, it is. <laughs> I told you don't look. I told you don't look. <laughs> it's all right. I can, I can handle that one. Cause see, this bridge is flat. No problem. That's probably the highest bridge I've ever been on in my life. True. It may be higher than the one in, it in, my in West Virginia. That's why I said don't look, cause I did. Could it be laundry time? No, no, no. It's paid shower time. We have not been living like savages out here. We do have wipes. We do have a two gallon pump up shower. But we have also been boondocking roughly the last 12 or 13 days straight. So being able to pay a couple of dollars for a five minute hot shower is just heaven. I'll put the name of this town location in the comments. We're in the upper part of Arizona and like the rest of Arizona, New Mexico, what have you, once again, no mirror. Whatever that vampire thing is you people have going out here, we'll respect it. So if you go down in the description of this video or you go down in the comment section, and of course we want to hear your comments, but pinned to the top, you'll see a list of some other videos related to this one. You'll see other recent videos that we've done related to van life and budget saving tips and, and all types of different topics. So if you're wondering what to watch next, you can certainly find something in that little grouping. And we'll see you next time.